everyone, with it here. Today we're doing another mod showcase. Now today the mod showcase is gonna be uh, let me get rid of this seal. It's gonna be over. It's gonna be over tech of some drones. Yeah. These drones are very handy in our world, so without further ado, let's get into our mod. And yes, I did explosion at the beginning because I felt like it. But first, things first. Let us go in survival. So yeah, we are going over the tech drone mod by a YouTube. It's made by the YouTuber. Let me pull it up. I know this is so professional, but I don't give a shit. Made by the YouTuber Tango Tech. Check out, check out his channel. It will be in the description below, as well as the mod. Hey, wanna play some video games? Let's play League of Legends. Sound familiar? I'll even it post should. Our it's amazing. Video. And it's free. You can afford that, right? It's non-stop epic action. I and there's the strategy video. too. Just look. <laughs> League of Legends. Download and play today. So there we go. Now I have all the links ready. Alright, let's get back into the game. So yeah, I have a better PvP mod installed. World edit. Um, ignore that. That that was me failing an attempt to use World edit. Um, over here we have some things. This is a whole chunk border. So yeah, basically. Well, let's just get into this mod. So the Tectorms mod is very handy. It it they'll pick up your stuff for you and all that good stuff and. In order to craft a drone, we just need to simply do this on a craft table. It's a pretty damn expensive crafting table. Now, if you notice, here, let me go back into creative. Let's see. If you notice, there's no tech drone mod thing. That's because it will be into transportation tabs, miscellaneous tools. Ig ignore that. I actually don't know what these do. Um, yeah, these don't give you a whole new mod tab like how most mods would, and, ah, oh. look at that, whoa, look at that beautiful sky, guys, mmm! Let's head it back to noon. So yeah, it's a very handy mod. Now, what this drone, what these drone, oh, I was the press would be. It's just shulker bullets and all that good stuff. In order to get this, we need to kill shulkers and get their shulk boxes. So it's a pretty damn expensive recipe. That's why we have our little end port over here. And, I went to the end, I already killed the Iron Dragon, I already got the whole place set up, so we're good. So, let's head on over to the end. Now, in order to capture these... Let's set you there. Now, in order to capture these, it's kind of like um the Ender Dragon in his fi en dragon fire. Dragon's breath, you simply right click the thing. So let's show you how we do this. Let's go to the end. My later. This is really slow, so we just do this. Yeah, 
That's much better. Do, 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 do. I really did not think this through. That's fair. That's fair. And now let's just heal ourselves. Okay, so yeah, we already killed the thing. God damn you, you threw me. Uh, go. Okay. Yo, what up? Perfect.
Getting more dirt. Normally I would just teleport there, but can I do this survival? We'll just do five. Don't mind me just speeding down the road. No. We'll do ten. I'm a speed racer. So you simply eh. ah, right click on the bullet. No. Pluck it out midair. Ew. Oh god, this is gonna hurt. Ooh. Ow. Guys! Help! So you simply right, no left click, I'm sorry, left click on the bottle thing and then you get your little hickey. Oh, give me, give me, give me, Three. yes this work. Yeah. 
Give me your sh balls. Got it. I wonder if you can drink this. Nope. To the boat. I wonder if people have done this before. So yeah, you need five shulker bullet do hit keys. And um No, four and five box I don't know. <laughs> Just give me this boy. You got left click though. See, kids, this is why. Hit me. Bow. This is gonna hurt. I need to up. Give your box. The actual recipe, so we have to look it up at the heck. Yeah, you need four shulker bullets in a bottle, and then you need five shells, shulker shells, so it's pretty damn much. Like that. Fighting? Ah. No. Step. <laughs> yes. I'm going to home.
So now that we got our stuff, let's go. To the overworld. Let's just throw all this extra loot in here. Alright, so now that we got these, we need a crafting recipe. Wait, should I get a crafting table? So you just go boop, 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 boop. Like the TNT, it's kind of like their TNT crafting recipe. So it's, a lot, it's a lot like it. And then boom, you got yourself a tech drone. Now, what these, you may be asking, what can you do with these? Can you fly them around? Well, that's where it gets interesting. Now, currently, these items don't have crafting recipes, except for the drone. When you place down, it'll follow you around. And it'll pick up stuff that you drop. So let's say you drop a bunch of items. You, it'll pick them up, bring them back, put them back in the inventory. And then take out a sky, you just punch it. Now you're basically saying, but what if we want a bunch a whole bunch of these? Well, Let's say you have a lot of items. Go nuts! Because their, their AI will never um, try to figure out this same block. And if you want them all back out, you just simply punch them all back out of the sky. Now another cool thing about them is they have they can have docking stations. So let's go grab ourselves some a docking station. And this should be where they want to, this is where they'll return home to every time they're done. So I'm just right clicking it and this is their inventory. So then right now it's just idle, waiting for a job to be done. But then if you right unright if you right click on it again, it'll put it in scout mode. So then it'll go, and it knows the other turns back to the inventory, it puts it back in the docking pad. And if you click it again. See, scout mode? And then it'll go back to idle. So it's kind of sleeping. And wake it up again, you just, yeah. Now this may be seem all cool, but we're just getting started actually. So let's give it this drone. Oh. And yes, the blocks are huge. Let's just go and put that back. Now another really neat thing is supply pads. Now supply pads are things that can be, that will take these out and they will, um, they will be sending messages back forth to these request pads. Now request pads are really neat for sorting systems. Like let's say you have like a farm and you wanna pick up a bunch of loads, a bunch of crap. But I just realized I'm gonna need that light to get up there. So yeah, in order to, um, 
if you want to have a sorting system. Now, these will take them, if you put them on dark pads and you put them in here, the hopper will suck out any block just like normal. See, let's say we put a sword in, it goes in the hopper, and it goes in here. And these can hold five, up to five stacks of any item you wish. And a request pad, it it will request something, and any um, supply pad that has the item in it, this drone will then, then go take it out of supply. It will put... Actually, I'm not sure. It's dry. It, the drone, I don't remember how this works. Ooh. Let's just say dirt. Let me just put dirt in there. Oh yeah. See the drone will take it out of the this supply pad and then we'll it'll put it in the request pad. Which then will go into here. Now this can hold I think it's stacks. Yeah. This is the request items, they will never get put in there. And yeah, so on and so forth. So, over here we have this pretty wicked looking machine. Now. There we go. Ow. You know what? We're gonna end up pull up there because I'm tired of trying to use this. So we're probably gonna need a stack. No! In! Ow! You know what? There. That took way more time than it needed to. So up here we have like a little redstone clock and No, I'm not coming I'm not gonna have to do that again. Crap machine we'll call it that we'll just put d for dropper ow so let's just put them all in scout mode you just right click on the top and they'll be in scout mode so then we'll, we'll turn on this machine and they'll all collect them and they'll put them into each individual container that you have here So we have our dirt and stone. So it will request these and it will put in the trash. We have our diamonds, we have our coal, and we have our um, emeralds. So let's just teleport back up there. And turn on the machine. And look, look at them go. See, they're putting them in there. We'll just use four more drones.
see? So then they'll go in there and then we start putting them in here. So we have our dirt so far. We have our diamonds, we have our coal, we have our emeralds. I just wanted to remove myself from the situation because I was getting a little loud. See, they're unbelievably quiet from a certain range. I think we're going to need some more. Ten should be able to do the trick. Ah, look at them go. Now these can only sense other of these types of blocks within the 32 range. They can see each other. So a whole chunk boundary. And I labeled the edges, so all the grass inside the red is actually the trunk boundary, and this is just the outside. So yeah, it can be pretty darn efficient. <sighs> what are they doing? Ah. Okay, so that's just a um error. Yeah. There we go. So now that we've seen that in action, now you may think, oh, this is pretty cool, huh? But what about if, what if I want long distance? Well, that's where these little doodads come in. These are called um, flight points. Now, a flight point is something that will help coordinate their directions on where they need to go. So it will help them get through long distances. And as you can see, I created a little maze. There's one dead end and stuff. And it will help them make it over long distances because then they can see each other within these flight points and you'll keep looking for them and every time he sees one it's like a little checkpoint so as you can see here I have a little request pad for the, for the flight points and we're actually going to need another request no not request pad we're going to need another docking pad here I just saw one right over here. There we go. Let's put you in scout mode. So, I need to heal our battery.
And these guys will even help pick them up over lava. There! Crap machine two. I always put another D for dropper. No, I just put it at number two. So in here we'll drop a bunch of dirt and stuff. Just to prove, show you. Um... This is awkward. Aha! Uh, you'll have to check out the guy's video. Basically, these are meant for long, long distance operations. Alright, so since these guys took forever, I was just spam a whole bunch.
So yeah. And finally, guys. That's it for my drone. Not my drone. That's it for the drone mod showcase, guys. And goodbye! So yeah, that last one was a flop, but that was it for the Smart Showcase, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh.